Hey YouTubers, it's Fixed with Visca here, and what I wanted to show you is these uh, center punch uh, finders. They're a punch, and you can find the center of a hole you drilled. Uh, I got these a while ago. I meant to do a video on them when I first got them, but things got, you know, um, happening, and I just forgot. But anyway, so let's get to it. And what I want to do here is uh, I was doing some uh, tongs, and I was drilling and putting rivets and tongs, and the way I like to do this is I'll take one of these center punches, and usually I'll grab uh, just any one that I feel that I want at first, and I'll find where I think is center on here and just use it as a normal punch for right now and then just give her a whack there and we got ourselves a nice little dot uh, and then I'll move it to here like this so I can give myself a nice clear hard hit so you can see that hole there um, and to me it looks like I'm off that way a little bit so I'm going to move it over just a touch which is just a, it's fine there you go that's better I moved it over just a touch where you can see that and now we're going to drill this hole and then we'll get to why I love these things so much because it is just so much easier to lose your tools when you don't know what you're doing. There we go. Uh, I like to drill a little bit first, just a little bit to pronounce my hole much better and then I like to throw a little bit of oil on it. I don't like to throw oil on it first because sometimes I lose the hole. Okay, so we got our hole drilled, we got the uh, cleaner off, and then what we'll do is we'll grab the other uh, part. And we want you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you got these face the way that it's going to build. See, like this here, it's not going to work because I got it the wrong way. So what I need to do is flip this. And this is in tong making. I, I mean, when you're drilling holes for tong. Uh, so there you go. Now you can see they fit together. But what I want to do is I want to bring it over. I'm not worried about this section here right now because I'll fix that in a heat in my forge. All I'm worried about is getting this hole dead center uh, to where it looks good to me. So and then I'll take uh, one of these smaller ones that I'll actually fit in there and see that one fits perfect and I got my hole set uh, and yeah, there we go. Give her a few taps, and that's just enough to get a mark. Just with these little ones, you don't want to go all crazy with these little ones because you will bend them, and that's you know you don't want to break the tools. There's no point in going all crazy and trying to get the best uh, center that you can find from that first initial. Uh, and then I'll go back and I'll grab a bigger one that I know is not going to uh, bend. And then I'll set my hole and drop it and knock everything on the ground. Hey. Okay. Well, I got it anyway, so I've got a nice punch mark in there. Uh, I'm going to pronounce it just a little bit more, but I actually did get it. I just, uh, I guess I just did a glancing blow on it, which 
happens. Happens to the best of us, guys. And I am nowhere near the best of us. I'm just average. I can take my fancy dancy cinder punch that I had and pull these apart. Ugh. And take my fancy dancy, stuff her in there. There we go. And I don't crank down on these or anything like that. I'm just showing you that how that is dead center there, like I wanted. Um, and these are lined. These uh, are lined up really nice. And now I'll drill it out. I'll put a bigger rivet in it and uh, fix the tips of these. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show these uh, tools here. Uh, I love them. They work for a lot of different things. You can uh, use them for all different sorts of jobs. You know, their center, you could find the center of a hole uh, just to mark it for uh, all kinds of things. I don't know. I'm blabbling, guys, but uh, hey. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I just wanted to show you guys these. And uh, I don't know if I said or not, I got these off of eBay. These are not expensive at all. Uh, they are. There are expensive ones out there. But uh, I think I paid like less than 20 bucks or right around 20 bucks for these. And I've had no problems with them at all. Uh, the tips are not mushrooming. Uh, they seem to uh, be just fine. I don't know how well they'd work on real hardened material I'm just using them on mild steel uh, so I can't say that they're great for everything but I'm using them for mild steel and they've been working great for me and hey thanks for watching guys